Hello, 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 hello. Tutal here coming in, ducking in, on the search bar to bring you another video. <clears throat> of, oh my god, Ultimate Admirals Age of Sail. Now, I have a. I guess Navy itch, you could say, for Age of Sails. I was thinking of doing naval action for a live stream, which I might do. However, there's a certain itch I want right now. And if Rule Britannia in the background doesn't give you any um, hint with the, oh, I don't know, the magnificent third rate ship of the line there, just sailing by, flying the Union Jack, you'll see back there. We are playing Age of Sail. It's, I gotta itch it now. Now, um, slight problem. Uh, War on the Sea, which I am actually okay with, my campaign seemed to have screwed up, and you'll see when the video comes out. It should come out before this, so you'll know exactly what's, what's weird going on with it. And I am okay with that, because I hate that game. I hate it so much. And so this will be taking its place. Now, I have played through the entirety, if I go to the campaigns here, of the Don't Tread on Me. Blood, sweat, and tears. Oopsies. Um. America. We're just gonna do this real quick, and I'm just gonna. Whoopsies! Um, I have played through. Thank you. The entirety of. Now that I know I can't click these things. Don't tread on me. And the Barbary War. I only played the first, like, four or three missions. And, uh, rule the waves. And you'll take the role of a British naval commander. Your orders are to protect England and become a legendary naval hero for centuries to come. Follows the story of Horatio Nelson, basically. Whereas this, you follow the story of, um, what's his name? Jean Paul Jones. And I, oh, I cannot believe I forgot Jean Paul Jones' name. Oh, my United States Navy's gonna kill me. And that's when you follow, um, I can't remember. Oh, it's just, I, I love how it says, for both these are for experienced players, and I played these first, so theoretically, the British one shouldn't be too hard. I say this knowing not exactly what to deal with, and I'm, no, I'm going to deal with the French. And the Spaniards. I haven't dealt with the French yet. For generations, my family has sailed the seas. Since before my grandfather's time, it has been our destiny. And now, it is mine. One day I went sailing and found that my old boat had sprung a small leak. Now, every... how you choose your story, how it continues... This is a little bit loud, but... How you choose is... Quite simple. Everything you choose... Uh, chain, it gives you a starting bonus. For example, I repaired the hole, gives you a minus 5% to repair costs. Amazing. Necessary, because no matter what, your ships are going to get damaged. This is the age of sail. In order to shoot them, they, in order for you to shoot them, they can shoot you back. <laughs> that was also pretty good. Somewhat, I patched a hole with wood from another boat, which increases repair costs, or upgrade costs, which is cheaper. However, there's very rarely have I used many upgrades. There's only a specific few that I pick. Or this one, which is pretty tempting. An increased chance of side mission success with an immediate 10%. Now, you can make this a point where it becomes ludicrous, where you'll almost guarantee to always succeed. These two are tricky. But... You can prevent this by just adding more and more ships or the correct kind of ships. Whereas this one, you're guaranteed to take damage no matter what. So I repaired the hole with driftwood I found nearby. At twelve, my uncle made me an apprentice aboard his ship. 
That is amazing. Standing between land and sea, I felt like a man for the first time. Anticipating a life on the open sea, I dreamed of battle and glory on the horizons. I wish but I could have been in difficult a navy in like this. Navy. Far removed from dreams of glory. It's funny, I'm in the middle of the Midwest and I dream of being on the sea. hard to impress the crew. In time, I was made a midshipman, beginning new responsibilities. So these are, let's see what we've got. We got true training speed, which could be nice, but I, eh. This one's tempting. Plus 5% casualty replenish. You spend less money on crew replacement. And this one is pretty nice. Um, this one actually is so. I'll explain. Uh, if you remember this, the veteran cost. I'll explain more of this when I get into uh, actual uh, ship setup and crew distribution. I think we're gonna do this one. In battle, I bravely carried wounded woman to the ship's doctor while under fire. We were forged together in the crucible of battle. For gallantry, I was recommended for promotion to the rank of lieutenant. Lieutenant! But first, I must pass the lieutenant's exam. It is lieutenant, and I will fucking I was fight this one to the death. Of captains. After a lengthy examination, they asked me what I thought the Navy's greatest strength was. So we got the officers, which minus 5% the hiring cost of officers. That really does not matter. I've never had a problem affording officers. The fleet, this one is very, very, almost completely recommended next to the second one. This one is next to the other two. This one's probably the hardest to deal with. To choose from uh, minus 10% requirement for access to the next level. You have to research a certain number of techs in one specific uh, tech level in order to unlock the next one or this one reputation this one is important this is how you not only keep ships you get from prizes but um upgrades how you actually buy upgrades among other things as well as weapons and cannons and you know what this one actually just sells it this one you can live without this one yeah reputation Reputation, I responded. Other nations fear us, and we can use this to our advantage. They nodded their heads in assent. Then asked me for my appraisal of the Navy's current strategic situation. This is how you pick your um, difficulty. You got easy, whereas the enemy sinks with minus 25% and your rewards plus 15 Difficult medium, no bonuses or thing, or this one, which is plus twenty percent enemy strength and minus ten percent reward. I'm gonna pick easy. Why? Because I would like to enjoy the game. But I've never played this one before. Our fleet is at Other the pinnacle the four of its missions. power, while our enemies are scattered and disorganized. An old, grey-haired captain asked me about my skill in the organization of amphibious operations. I would say I'm very good on amphibious operations, however, the land battles in this are fucking deadly. I am a sea wolf and know everything about ships, but when my foot steps on land, I want back off immediately. The board applauded my answers <laughs> and took a moment to reach their consensus. Congratulations, sir, they said. You have just made Lieutenant. Lieutenant! And we have begun. So we are pretty much Horatio Nelson. However, I'm going to click this adaptation, which will make it much more... Um, what's what I'm looking for? Oh my god. Immersive, I guess, or... Uh, it's just make it much more interesting, I would say. Now, you start out... You should, as you saw in the quick oopsies of the uh, road independence start out in battle Spanish guards the ma Spanish uh, Spain guards the mouth of the San Juan River with a strategically placed fortification under the command of Captain General of of the Captain General of Guatemala 
Securing the entrance to the river opens a route to Lake Nicaragua and will bring all the rich all these rich lands under the authority of Britain and His Majesty King George III. A frontal attack seems suicidal, but we see, yeah, but it seems we have no other option available. You will have to secure the fishing village and then march uphill, seize the fort, and disable its coastal batteries. The Spaniards will do their best to cancel your plan, so you need to act swiftly. Be aware of the enemy Costco's guns, they can obliterate your assault troops. Good to know. And this is our ship. Spotted. Spain has a naval patrol in the area. Our ship has been intercepted by the Corvettes Galea and Mercedes. Their opening volleys has raked the bridge. The captain is badly wounded and first lieutenant is missing. The situation is grim. Our troop ships will follow behind. They will avoid the naval battle and wait for its resolution. With our protection, without our protection, they'll become an easy prize for Spaniards. HMS Caris, a light armed brig, has sailed up to join us in the fight. The crew is desperate for a leader who can bring the ship through its trial by fire. You have no choice but to take command. And now we start and immediately turn left so our so they stop raking our ass. There really should be no point in us actually losing this fight. Because we got a fifth rate. Uh, what is it? Dana class, one of the best fifth rates in the game. And reversing the sixth rate sloop of war. And she just. Ooh, we actually damaged the mast. So. We got about technically four hours to win this fight. It is not going to take that long. Your match speed. We'll we to take out a mast here in a few seconds, which would be amazing because when you demast a ship, oh, the morale drops. So you have morale, armor on the hull sides, and the condition of the ship. Or no, this is the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think that's the stamina. Or no, sails. Okay, you guys, okay, whoa, okay. So the wind is blowing our ship, unfortunately. I need to, there we go. So it's, I can't remember what that one is. You have the bluest sails. I think the bottom one is, uh, what's it called? Either morale or stamina or something. For life, me, I can I can easily hit a uh, menu and we go to a uh, ship controls. Or no, it's a uh, HUD. Hall condition. Okay, that middle one's hall condition. My bad. It's blinking as the morale, so the center one's hull condition, so we're fine. Their hull condition could be a lot better. Not really a fight a brig wants to take, but we got no choice. It looks like they're shooting for our mast. And we're actually, wow. And we're just hitting their mast. That's like three hits to one of the masts. I think it's a four mast. Yeah, I would love to do nothing. Oh. That with a rake. Yeah, getting a shot through the forward or ass of your ship is not the best thing in the world to get have happen to you. Just one thing we don't want to get in range of is the fort guns. Now do be careful for friendly fire. It is an easy thing to happen, and your ships will shoot through each other to shoot your enemies. Oh, and I love how your men will shoot their muskets and actually kill crew. Oh, that sucks. Let's try and get some manual aim. Now, you can actually manually aim, which is pretty cool. Uh, I know we missed the mast. Hold, 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 hold fire for a quick second. Okay, you drop sail. Okay, 
now you can turn left. Uh, what's the range of their cannons? I won't show me. Okay. And let loose a barrage. Ooh. Whoa! Oh! That's the first time I've ever blown up a ship. Oh my god. I want to capture these ships, that's what I want, but at the same time, that was beautiful. I've never blown up a ship before. I've never touched off the magazine. Oh. I'm quite happy. Okay, so now we have our troop ships here, which are basically your cargo ships. Nice thing is also these this is also technically a troop ship. I can have um I can send out detachments of units of the ship's crew to also partake in land battles, which is something I freaking love. Or if I want to, I can use the ship's crews to reinforce another ship. Uh, start targeting the mass, I guess. Now, think about the morale of your crew and is... The less morale you have, the more wild the shots are. So let's see, what does Dorses have? We got... So Dorses, we have a pair of line infantry and militia. Plymouth has line infantry and marines. Marines are good. Or no. Wait. I'm trying to remember. I know the Americans get the Marines and the Marines are fucking deadly. They're very expensive, but boy are they fucking deadly. Especially when you get like Ferguson rifles. Oh. Like, you get breech loading rifles? Yeah, forget it. Fucking just pop, 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 and then you get into melee. Yeah, for, no, yeah, no, the American Marines. Not something you want to fight. Ouch. Yeah, I need you to keep sailing. Now, actually, having your ship turn like this sometimes doesn't help your aiming. So, sometimes best when they're shooting, just stop turning on the ship. Just let them go. Now, so what do we have for our guns again? Let's see. We got 6 and 12 pounder guns. Pretty damn good. And our brig has, I'm assuming, 12 or 6? Six? Yes, yeah, 6 pounder guns. And Sandwich has. What do you have? More line infantry. Excellent. Uh, hold fire for a quick second. Okay, let her go. You hold fire. I'm going to have you manually target the uh, stern of this ship. See if we can get you a raking shot. She's turning, so. Oh! Good luck! Come on, just get a good. Like, one round into the ass end of a ship, and it hurts it like hell. No, it didn't look like it did much. We're running out of map here. Okay, I want you all just to start. Just hold anchor for a quick second. We got time. I want to deal with the Navy battle first. See if I can have you take out the rear mast. 
There we go. Did I not listen to that? Now let's take out the foremast. Match your speed. Uh, if I switch it to chain shot, you don't have enough, so come around. This slew has no hope of actually sinking this ship. And if I feel like this ship is in danger, I'll just switch to shooting the hull. Sometimes you're just not going to hit the damn mast. Okay, switch to gray, or switch to a. Uh... Okay, we actually bounced off the mast. And you can actually bounce off the mass too. Just because you got, just because the mass is considered a thin thing of wood, it doesn't mean it's fucking weak. Far from it. Target main mast. As you know, you're you're targeting. You have round. Do not use grape sh or uh, grape shot. Chain shot. Chain shot almost always bounces off the mast. I'm like Pirates of the Caribbean, where you send this thing flying and it wraps around the thing and snaps it too. Fuck. the hell? Oh, you're aiming low. You're aiming low for the mainsails. I'm gonna wait till this broadside shoots before I... Yeah, so I don't get raked. Oh, hey, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn the fuck around. They reload those guns pretty fast. I think you should be able to hit the forward mass now. Gee. Yeah. Let's not shoot while we're swinging, but. Okay, there we go. Yeah, those. That would have been better for aiming for the main mass. This is what I mean by they will shoot through your own ships. So do be careful about that. Let's see if I can get this guy to surrender. Now you can make a surrender to do just through doing haul damage. not match her speed. Let's just take a look at the water. Where is the... I can get pretty close to this. <laughs> Let's just get some hull damage in. Go for the main mass. Got round one round into the main mass. So I'll take it. I'm not sure we're gonna get a good. Actually, yeah, just send send the next few cannon rounds into her hall. have her uh we're not in the range we got the good angle we're not in the range or speed to actually board this is gonna hurt her you know the hull guns Retreat now that uh, she's gonna be stuck here. I thought you had a funny moment where there was a British ship of the line, and I managed to kill the crew with uh, 
line infantry because it was it ran aground. I just marched line infantry to to the rear of her, where her guns couldn't shoot me, and I just kept cutting down the crew with the uh, musket fire. Oh, you have forward guns? Yeah, we go to hell. You do. Now, unfortunately, you cannot tow a ship off of a uh, shallow water, as far as I'm aware. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. look at that little cheeky little spot. Uh, she looks like she might get off the ground. I think we're just gonna send round shot into her. Yeah, I think we'll just play the, uh, hi, I'm just gonna, you know, beat you to submission game. Which, we're gonna win with Richmond here. We got 37 guns to her, what? 28. If, however many are still alive. And even then, you can still go through the hall and actually knock down the, uh, mast. Just because you hit so low. Or so low, you hit, you just go th straight through. That thing. I mean, she's flooding and she's sinking. Though, technically, she can't sink since she ran aground. Okay, well, let's begin our landing operation. We'll just let, uh. I'm trying to figure out what their, uh. This is the only place to land there, and we're gonna get under cannon fire real quick, so let's bring the ships over here. So I'm tempted to let a series here. You try to bombard these cannons. Give them some covering fire. But the, yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, target the mast. Maybe you'll hit it, maybe you won't. Hey! Okay, I would like to shift to sink or do something before we lose the chance to actually do something. Excellent. Quickly. Okay. Okay. Uh, Richmond. Deploying the shit. Oh, they're probably going to deploy. You know, they deploy on the right side. Okay. Go. Row, motherfuckers. Row. You got 40 seconds to get over there. Row. 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 Oh, no. Well, that sucks. Now well, we tried. That's all I can say. Now, what kind of artillery pieces are these? I can't quite. I think these are like 12 pounders. I can't remember. That's unfortunate. If only she ran around here. Well, whatever. She's out of the fight, so it doesn't matter to me. Alright. Deploy. Deploy. Deploy.
just outside the range of their guns, which makes me very happy. The goal is to get in as soon as possible so we don't have to deal with these fucks. We got enemy militia there. We'll have our volunteers here flank this way. I hear Spaniards. I don't know which if this face is this way or that way. That's what I was afraid of. It's always best to do that because it gives them a defense bonus. Let's see if I can do that to flank around the back. That's really fucking annoying. Um, let's get you just a little bit closer. Oh, skirmishers! I hate fighting skirmishers so much. But you can detach your own skirmishers. Go deal with them. Sure about the break here. The route actually they're coming oh, out are just completely gone. Let me start marching here. We go help with these. That you would be a good idea to actually go help with them. The skirmishers are just some of the more annoying motherfuckers in this game. Good cover inside these fields. This can just be very annoying. Okay. I think you have to reattach to the group. Good shots. Fucking annoying. Good, they shattered. I'm gonna have the volunteers sort of maintain that way just in case they come from there. I don't think they do, but I can't remember. It's been a while. I see where the line of sight is on some things. Even this. Stop him on the left. Like somebody stuck? No, just being funny. You can't shoot me now, assholes. I'm 
Only the ship. Not the best thing to try and fire on a fort. What shells do you have? Oh my god, you're using... Whoops. Grape shot would be the best, but grape shot can't reach, so. Hmm. Music is sounding a little bit busted right now. Glad you're shooting. Guess we can't get the guns up high enough. There's a comment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on. Damn. Close. Close. Start turning the militia. Best just to let them line up and then we can shoot. Well, if they're gonna route that way, the ship can actually get them. I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. Actually, grape shot would now be really fucking good. Stop running. Let the ship get you. Just barely. I'll try tr tr uh, turning. I feel like that should fuck up that uh, militia crew. You know? Alrighty. I guess they should cancel the charged. Go help the Marines. So not march in front of the friendlies, but. about that was a good volley to here you guys hold it well another very very good volley. are you Oops. what's up
that should cause them to uh, surrender here. Uh, I'm amazed they're not surrendering. They're actually you know, a little bit stubborn. Nope. Oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Hold. There we go. Nope. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, good. Prisoners. Exactly what we want. The prisoners can be ransomed. For money. They want to go deal with these fucks. Ooh, that was a close one. Ooh, actually, hey, it actually landed. It didn't do shit, but landed. Now I just gotta keep the battery contested. Matter of fact, let's actually get up into a sort of a defensive ish. Hey. You actually hold fire. You guys can do it. Or you can just cancel your charge. That's two. Oh, you bastards took it back. Some part of the ship's company aboard and just get him from behind. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. What do we got? Sea service muskets. These guys are carrying just the sea service muskets without the bayonet. line up over there, can I? Doesn't look like it, no. This is unfortunate. I think like you guys to march and actually get a full volley into them. We're not gonna win if we just play little pop pop numbers. Oh, this is not good. Nice. Where the fire is shooting over. There we go. Get the great Leonidas one said. They look a little thirsty. There we go. Now we just wait for that to go, and there we go. We can finish and win. Five shift, two ships, 58 guns, 56 guns. We had a lot more crew. We had. Uh, they. Yeah. Casualties we lost a decent amount. We actually we lost none on the army and okay. I have been promoted to captain and given the command of a brig and an old sloop. I dreamed of staying on HMS Richmond, but to do so I would have to remain a lieutenant. Promotion is the better choice, right? We are anchored in the mouth of San Juan River, and there we wait. We have no new news from home, no news from Jamaica, no news at all. There's a saying, during war, no news is good news, but soon we will need to replenish food and rum for the men. The rumor 
of half rations may become a reality in a matter of weeks. And that's going to do it for this episode, the very first episode in our... And here we are. Enemy Commander has contacted me and is offering to pay a ransom for the safe return of his men. I can use this to give money, or I can resend for, for my reputation by zero. I will not pick that since it's zero, or I can reject and hold. I'm actually going to give them the prisoner. It's only 350, which is not even worth much of a fucking cannon, but you know what? I got nothing to do with them. So. Oh, accept the ransom. And if you want to read this, feel free to pause here. But this is going to do it for this episode. This is Tutos, and thank you for joining me in Let's Play of Ultimate Admiral's Age of Sail. I will explain more in the next episode on all everything else of this map and all these buttons and all this fun stuff. Anywho, stay safe, and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.